Hi everyone, so in this quick video, we just want to very quickly talk about the random library um, available by Python, and we want to show you that you can load different methods um, t from the random library, and we're just going to focus on two. So when we first run our Python program, or when we first load Python, Python comes with a bunch of um, methods or functions already loaded up, such as, for example, the print function, if, for, um, the ability to open files, but there's a whole bunch it doesn't load up, um, because uh, the more functions it loads up, then the more memory is taken up on your computer. So to reduce that, it allows us to load the functions that we need at the time that we need them. So one such library, which comes with lots of different methods, is a random um, library. So let's import from, let's say, import random. Now, in fact, now it's the other way around. I'm going to say from random import. Let's start with randint. So the random int library, um, this particular method loaded from random, which basically there's a whole bunch of methods like this in the library, which we're going to look at in a second, in a bit, um, allows me to generate a random number um, from a spe specified range. So let's say number one equals, and I'm going to say randint, um, and I'm going to say from zero to 10 or let's do from 1 to 10. So what should happen now is if I print that out, so let's display that on the screen, number 1, and click on Run, what it should do for me is it should generate a random number between 1 and 10, and it will keep doing that every time I run the program. So that's good, that's fine, now we know how to use that. Let's go and let's add one more to our list. Let's also import the Shuffle Library. Uh, and the Shuffle Library is great for when we have arrays or a list. So I'm going to say, let's create an array called cards. Okay, cool. So what I've done is I've created um, a, something like a deck of cards with a whole bunch of objects that we would find in a card. If I was to print it out or display that on the screen, let's say cards, let's, um, let's comment that out for a second. So what it should now do is it should just display that. There we are. So it's displayed the cards in order. Now what I want to do is I want to shuffle the cards. So I'm going to say, let's click on, let's type in shuffle and put cards in between. And then let's display cards again. So what we should get is our deck of cards twice. This is how it is in original, in the original form. And then after this function here is shuffled them, it's basically shuffled the items there. So they're now in a randomized order. So now that we've done that, let's uncomment this for a second and let's pick just one item. So I'm going to leave the fact that I'm printing the number there. I'm displaying the number out. And now what I want to do is I want to take, uh, I want to display print cards and I just want one card. So I'm going to say the random number that's generated, whatever that number is, um, I want it to pick out that particular card from the deck. So for example, if it picks out a number five, if the random number is five, then what I want is the fifth card from the shuffle deck. So one, two, three, no, sorry, zero, one, two, three, four, five. That would be number eight. Um, and obviously I've made a mistake here, really. I should start from zero because the first item is going to be zero. And the last item in this case then is going to be 12. So let's increase that to 12. Let's run our program. Here we are. So it said it's the 11th. The number is number 11. Um, okay, so then it should be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And number 11 is 2, and that's why it's displayed um, 2, the number 2. So that's a quick overview of how to use the two functions, randin and shuffle, and how to import random modules. Um, and if I just take you to the documentation as well, so this is on a link on my PowerPoint, which you guys are going to see. But um, okay, if you're not looking at my PowerPoint, that's fine. You can always just search up um, Python documentation and search for random. And you'll find that there's a whole bunch of functions or methods that you can use. So for example, seed, get state, um, random range, choice. Choice is another one that we might use. Um, and it just talks through all the other methods that are available and then how to use them. So 
that's a very quick overview of how to use the random library.